Fungi often form very close, dependent relationships with other organisms. These symbiotic associations can be parasitic or mutualistic. Mutualistic symbioses are cooperative relationships that benefit both partners. Fungi often form mutualistic associations with plants, invading plant tissues without harming them and allowing for a two-way exchange of resources. Some of the most important and dramatic examples of mutualism take place in the soils of temperate forests. Beneath the forest floor, tree roots and fungal mycelia are intimately intertwined in mutualistic symbioses called mycorrhizae. Beginning near the tip of the root, the fungal mycelium grows over the surface and eventually entombs the root in a thick sheath of tissue. The mycelium then penetrates the outer layer, or epidermis, and enters the cortex of the root, where it interacts with root cells, absorbing some of their store of carbohydrates. In exchange, the fungus scavenges the soil for essential nutrients, such as nitrogen and phosphorus, which are in short supply. Then its mycelium transports and concentrates these nutrients near the roots, where they are easily taken up by the plant. Many familiar forest mushrooms are the fruiting bodies of mycorrhizal fungi. Some form symbioses with many different trees, others with one or only a few species. These mycorrhizal networks can be quite extensive, forming fungal connections between the roots of different trees. Mycorrhizae are essential to the health and productivity, not only of our New England forests, but also of other types of plant communities, from grasslands to agricultural fields.